This is not a knife video. We are going to talk about the CME, the Compression Made Easy, that is done by OCD for EDC. Justin came up with this, and it's absolutely brilliant. So the question is, is it worth it? Now, for me, I absolutely love it. I think it takes the compression lock to a whole new level. There's a lot of things to be said for it. It absolutely turns this into like a button lock for your left-handed individual. It's actually like a left-handed button lock, but the things that it provides for you are awesome. So basically what you have here, and this is not gonna be a real long video. This might just be a little bit of additional content for you guys. What you've got here is basically a little button that affixes to the compression lock. So now if you've had a knife with a compression lock, you know that the compression lock is thin. It's a lot like a liner lock, uh, but on the back. And it is definitely different uh, than that than a liner lock because it, it, it functions differently. But what I'm saying is it's a thin piece of metal that you have to push out of the way. Well, with a a standard frame or liner lock, you're basically, you're using the pad of your thumb and you're pushing it off to the side. When you're doing the, the compression lock, a lot of times you're pinching that with the index finger, which is a much more sensitive finger, and it's in a weird position, and you got to pinch it in, and you're really not making the contact that you would on a liner lock. You're making contact, a lot more contact on a liner lock. On a, on a compression lock, you're just basically kind of like, pretend this is the edge of the lock. You're just basically hitting that little edge. This gives you a lot more surface area, a lot of more ability to compress that lock, compression made easy, CME. And I find that it's amazing. So is it worth it? Yeah, they're only $20. They're easy to install. You guys already saw the installation video, but what I found with this is it completely changes, it completely changes this knife for the better. I like the compression lock. I liked a lot about it, but I just didn't like the way it felt, the way I interacted with it, the, you know, closing and opening the lock. It's just as simple now. Like a lot of times, I don't know why with this lock, I do it like this and I close it. I find it satisfying to do that, to reverse it and then do that. But it makes that even easier. So you can squeeze in on it and the, just let it drop shut. Um, you've got a lock here that now is even more so able to be used like a button lock or some of the other locks where you're not crossing the danger travel part of the blade. It's easy to index. I find it very easy to find that lock. Some people, now I will say some of my friends have felt that and they're like, I, I can't, like, I have to look now. And I don't, I don't, I know exactly where that's at. I can feel it. I know exactly where that button is because I've done it enough times, but I could see that being an issue, but I don't have any problems with that. One of the big things that I find is sometimes I will be using this knife and now I can do that compression lock a lot easier left-handed than I could before I put it on there. When you would do the compression lock left-handed, it felt as though, and Justin said it in the video, that you've got to like reach way in and you get out. It feels like you're going to drop your knife. And I can see why he said he had dropped his several times. So if you happen to be wanting to carry this left-handed, which absolutely can because Spyderco most times provides you with that option. Now I have a knife that I could carry left-handed and still have comfort and deployment and closing. So I find it really, really good. So if you're on the fence of whether you should try one out, these are like $20 for the PM2. I do know that the Yojimbo uh, one is, I think, $30. They're special ones for certain knives. You got to go on their site and check it. I'm going to put a link to OCD for EDC down below to their website and their channel. Big shout out to Justin for this. It is a game changer, in my opinion. I liked this knife before. I love this knife now that I have the CME on it. Um, it, it just that simple little addition, I find amazing. Now I did screw mine up a little bit. And so in case you're curious as why that looks like that, I did that. That didn't come like that. They have different models, different colors, things like that. And like I said, they make them for specific models. So check real close, which one you're going to look for and make sure that you're getting the one that fits your knife. So in all honesty, I can't find a negative thing to say about that CME. It absolutely makes this knife an even better experience. I love this PM2. I absolutely love it. I wish I had pulled the trigger on getting a PM2. This one came to me as a gift. Uh, I think I've missed out on a lot of years of enjoyment of a knife. And now that I have one, it's amazing. And like I said, with the CME, it's even it's even better. It, ju it just makes it so much better of a knife all around. So big shout out to Justin. Guys, 
Let's turn this around, do some final thoughts, and send you out about your day. There you go, guys. I had some of my paying members ask me in the Gilded Chat whether I thought the CME was worth it, and so that's what started this video. I absolutely do like to do videos that you guys are requesting and, and would like to know the answer to. So, yeah, absolutely. I am quite taken aback by how much just that small little addition changes the overall feel of the compression lock. It is night and day. I absolutely love it. Uh, I, I love the knife to begin with, and I love it even more. Big shout out to Justin. It's kind of brilliant to have a small little thing. It's it's like taking like the guys that would do the zip ties on the spider coast to make them wave out of the pocket. It's taken that kind of ingenuity to a whole new level. It's a complete game changer, in my opinion, on, on what it does with this knife. So yeah, big shout out. I'm going to put a link to both his store and his channel down below. I'll, I'll, I'll link his channel. Go follow him. He's got a lot of really good content. Um, I don't get a chance to watch a lot of it like I should, uh, but big addition to the community and big addition to just a complete change in how this knife feels overall. So guys, that's it on this one. If you like the videos, give them a thumbs up. If you don't like them, give them a thumbs down, but please try to tell me why. I can't change the content if you don't tell me what you don't like. If you want to support the channel, simple as doing those little things, those help on the algorithm, but you can also support the channel financially. I have got sponsors, Coffee Brand Coffee, Tempered Trail. They share a coupon code of Crazy Sharp, 5% off. When you use that code, Coffee Brand Coffee, it's built into the link and they have some of the most amazing coffee you're going to find. Tempered Trail is offering some of the best laces on the market for your shoes. So if you're an outdoor kind of guy and you know that you got to rely on your shoelaces to, to, you know, keep your shoes tied, check them out. They're not expensive and they're done really well. I've got an Amazon store where you can take that link, pin it to your browser, use it for any shopping that you would do on Amazon. It supports the channel and it does not cost you anything at checkout. And I've got ideas lists and things built down below that you can check out and see if any of those items are things you would like. I also have got a membership. It's all tier based. All three levels get access to the Gilded server, which is amazing. It's a fun place to hang out. It's just like Discord. Uh, baseline and premium guys are entered into giveaways that I do off of YouTube on the Gilded server and the premium guys are automatically, I'm sorry, the premium guys have access to a sharpening tutorial series that's here on YouTube behind the paywall. Guys, that's it on this one. Love you all. Keep it clean in the comments section. If it's your birthday, happy birthday. And I'll see you in the next video.